Today, using spent coffee grounds and fresh coffee grounds, I'm going to show you their impact on seed germination. Here we've got our three different varieties of coffee grounds in little punnets. I've got some bean seeds. They are climbing beans, they are fresh beans. I've just popped them in water to make sure they are viable. And what I'm gonna do so I'm going to pop them in each of these trays. I'll probably use three of each of the trays. So I'm a little short on one of the sets of grounds. I'm also using a control, which is potting mix or seed raising mix in this experiment so that I can compare accurately the um, germination in coffee grounds compared to normal seed mix. So my first step was to dibble holes in each of my containers. Once I've dibbled the holes, I'm going to pop two seeds in each punnet. So the experiment has run for one week just to test seed germination in these beans. You can see that our used and rinsed coffee on the front left hand side has germinated really well. Our control in the back corner has germinated but not consistently. We've got three out of six beans germinated. The problem there is I watered one of the wrong cells. Down in the front, front right hand side we have the single shot of coffee. There's only one bean well, there's two beans there that have started germinating, but they definitely don't have the growth of the others. And in our fresh coffee in the back left hand corner, the only thing we appear to be growing is some green stuff on top of the soil, which is not what we are attempting to germinate. So the reason that these beans have thrived in the rinsed and used coffee grounds and in our control in comparison to the other two is because of something called chlorogenic acid and that chlorogenic acid has an inhibitory effect on growth of plants so when you are sowing seeds if your coffee grounds are spent coffee grounds and they are not fresh coffee uh, if they're spent coffee grounds are not composted there is a presence of chlorogenic acid that will inhibit growth and that's uh, that's been studied by a university in japan uh, they've tested it out on crops on a larger scale just in terms of plant growth and in that situation they found that there was a six month impact that those grounds had if they weren't composted prior to being added to the soil. Putting your coffee grounds in your compost is a sustainable way of using those coffee grounds, so make sure you're still doing that, and make sure you like and subscribe. Add your questions in the comments below.